hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we are going to be talking about one of the best way to edit your photos with photoshop and we are going to be using an amazing plugin throughout this video and if you are new to this channel don't forget to like this video and subscribe and also turn on notifications so youtube will notify you when i upload a new video Now we are going to be editing these five photos. This is the first photo, the second, the third, the fourth, and the fifth. And the plugin that I'm going to be using in this video is Retouch for me. So if you go to your filter and then you look for Retouch for me, but if you don't have this Retouch for me, you can click the link in the description of this video. And once you click the link in the description of this video, you will be able to get this plugin. And after you have gotten this plugin and you have installed it, go to your filter, then you look for retouch for me and you will see it. And if you look at this photo, you will see that this girl is looking beautiful and her photo is already edited. The only thing that is missing in this photo is that the cloth was not edited and the cloth has many wrinkles. Now, to fix these many wrinkles in the cloth, all you have to do is to press ctrl j on your keyboard now once we press ctrl j on our keyboard we'll be able to create a new layer and after we have created that new layer the next thing you have to do is to go to filter then you click on retouch for me then you click on retouch for me fabric this retouch for me fabric will help to fix those wrinkles on your clothes and make the clothes to look smooth and better now you can increase the blend or you can reduce the blend so we are just going to leave the blend to be around 103 you can also select make max but i will just leave the blend to be 103 and once i'm done i'm just going to click apply and once you have click apply just look at the magic just look at the magic of what it has done on the clothes this is the before and this is the after let's zoom in the clothes this is the before this is the after let's zoom out the clothes and you will see what this retouch for me fabric has done on the clothes this is the before and the after you can see that the clothes has many fold it has many wrinkles and this our retouch for me fabric plugin has helped to fix this cloth and it has helped to make the clothes look better so if you have a photo and the cloth is looking bad like it has many wrinkles or many fold you can use this retouch for me fabric just go to retouch for me fabric and you can use it to fix it to make the cloth to look amazing this is the before and this is the after and the next photo we are going to be editing is this photo you can see that the skin has many spots and you can see that the face has many pimples and the best way that you can use to fix all these things without wasting your time or to fix it in one second is by pressing ctrl g on your keyboard remember anytime you're editing your photos you have to press ctrl g and once you press ctrl g on your keyboard and you have created a new layer all you have to do is to go to filter then you click on retouch for me and then you look for retouch for me heal and once you click on that retouch for me heal just allow it to load and let's just expand it so it will be large you can select make max so i'm just going to click on this make max and once i've selected make max i'm just going to click on apply and just watch what will happen to the skin let's zoom in the photo and you are going to see what happened to the skin this is the before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after so let's just click on another photo let's click on this photo and let's use the retouch for me dodge bone on this photo but before then we want to use the retouch for me heal to remove these blemishes but i can just use my patch tool to remove it let's just use a patch tool so we are not going to waste time and once i'm done i want to open the retouch for me dodge bone now and this retouch for me dodge bone is used to smooth the skin and to make the skin look better let me just show you if i zoom in this photo and i press ctrl j on my keyboard then i go to filter let's just click on filter and retouch for me 
then let's select retouch for me dodge bone and once the retouch for me dodge bone has opened just allow it to load but i'm not going to be talking about most of this team in this retouch for me dodge bone because of time let's increase the blend to be around 162 and for this warmth i don't think we need to increase the warmth but let's leave the warmth to be around let's say five and once i'm done i'm just going to reduce this blend again and i'll just click on apply you can see that the retouch for me dodge bone has fixed the skin and the skin is looking better now just look at how the skin is looking better this is the before and this is the after let's zoom out the photo this is the before and this is the after let's zoom in the photo this is the before and this is the after and you can see the good use of this retouch for me dodge bone you can use it to smooth the skin in a professional way and to make it look better now if you are using normal frequency separation in photoshop in order to get this result it's just going to take you hours it's going to take you many minutes even if you are using actions it's going to take you minutes by using your brush to paint on the skin and to apply that frequency separation but if you use this retouch for me dodge bone by going to filter and then retouch for me then retouch for me dodge bone you'll be able to get this amazing result in a short period of time and you can see that this photo is now looking better the next plugin that we'll be talking about for this retouch for me is the retouch for me portrait volume to open this retouch for me portrait volume let's press ctrl j on our keyboard to create a new layer and once i've created that new layer i'm just going to go to filter once i click on filter retouch for me then let's click on retouch for me portrait volume and let's allow it to load now let's look at this photo this is the before and this is the after you can see what has happened to our photo it has add extra depth and dimension to our image you can reduce the blend so let's just reduce the blend to be around 89 or 87 so let's leave the blend to be around 87 and once i'm done i'm just going to click apply now let's look at the before and the after for the retouch for me portrait volume this is the before and this is the after let's zoom out the photo let you see what is happening to the picture this is the before and this is the after you can see that this retouch for me portrait volume has add both highlights and the shadows to the photo it has used highlights and shadows to make the photo to look more better it has bring out the depth and dimension of the photo by making the photo to look better just look at the amazing results of the retouch for me portrait volume this is the before and this is the after now let's look at the before and the after for both the retouch for me dodge bone and the portrait volume this is the before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after let's zoom in the image this is the before and this is the after you can see that the image is now looking better and you can use this retouch for me to make your photo look better in just seconds without wasting your time and let's move to the next photo which is this photo now for this photo i want to use the retouch for me heal so we are going to see the amazing effect of this retouch for me heal let's press ctrl j then we go to filter then click on retouch for me heal and allow it to load now that the retouch for me heal has opened let's look at the before and the after let's just click on apply so we are going to be seeing the before and the after of the photo this is the before and the after you can use your retouch for me dodge bone to fix the skin but because of time we are not going to be fixing the skin with the retouch for me dodge bone because i've already shown you how the retouch for me dodge bone works on your image you can see that we smooth the skin of this image using the retouch for me dodge bone and i can also apply it to this image also to fix the skin but because of time we are going to go into the next photo now for this next photo we are going to be fixing this shining stuff on our forehead you can see that this shining stuff is looking ugly and it's not looking beautiful so in order to fix this kind of thing on the forehead you can see that the highlight is too much in order to fix it all you have to do is to press ctrl j on your keyboard then you go to filter 
Then you go to retouch for me and you click on retouch for me mattifier. And once the retouch for me mattifier section has open, you can either increase the blend or you can reduce the blend. Let's leave the blend to be 53. And once you are done, you can hit enter on your keyboard or you can click on apply. And once we have hit enter on our keyboard, let's look at the before and the after. This is the before and this is the after. You can see that the retouch for me mattifier has been able to fix that highlights on the skin. So if you have a harsh highlights on the image or if the highlight is looking bad, you can be able to use that retouch for me mattifier to fix that highlights on the skin. This is the before and this is the after. Now the next thing I'll be showing you in this retouch for me is the retouch for me clean backdrop. And if you look at this backdrop, you will see that the backdrop is not looking nice. It's looking dirty and there are many stains in the backdrop. All you have to do is to press Ctrl J on your keyboard. And once you have pressed Ctrl J on your keyboard, you have to go to filter. Then you go to retouch for me and click retouch for me clean backdrop. Now that the retouch for me clean backdrop has opened, just allow it to load. And once everything is set, leave your blend to be around 100. I want to explain something for you. You can see these three things in this section. You can see the coarse depth, you can see the medium depth, and you can see the fine depth. Now this coarse depth is for bigger depth in your backdrop. If you have bigger depth in your backdrop, you can use this coarse depth. And if the depth in your backdrop or the things in your backdrop are medium, you can use this medium depth. And if they are small, like this my backdrop, there are little depth on the backdrop, you can use this find it and you can see that i selected this find it and i'm just going to hit enter on my keyboard or i'll just click apply and just watch what will happen to the backdrop this is the before this is the after just look at the backdrop focus on only the white backdrop let me zoom on to the photo this is the before this is the after let's zoom in this is the before and this is the after and you can see that it has helped us to remove this little dirty from the backdrop and the backdrop is no more looking dirty and it has fixed all these things for us this is the before and this is the after you can see this is the before and the after i will not be talking about any other retouch for me plugin because of time and it will take us hours to complete the video if we should talk about all the retouch for me plugin if you want to get this retouch for me plugin you should click the link in the description of this video and once you click the link in the description of this video it will take you to retouch for me website and retouch for me is giving 30 percent discount to all my subscribers you are going to get 30 percent discount when you click the link in the description of this video now most of you always go to google and search for the name of the app i'll advise you not to go to google and just search for the name of the app and download it you should click the link in the description of this video in order to get it so you are going to get a discount if we visit this retouch for me website you are going to see different kinds of plugin you will see that i have already gotten this retouch for me here and i've gotten the retouch for me dodge bone i can download it and for this retouch for me here it says portrait retouching can now be done automatically and retouch for me eye bundle you can see retouch for me fabric we talked about this retouch for me fabric you can see retouch for me skin marks we didn't talk about it you can see retouch for me portraits volumes we also talk about it it automatically enhances the sense of depth in the portrait it makes the eyes brighter the nose and the rest it's fixed the skin for you it's just help your photo to look amazing you can see the retouch for me clean backdrop we also talked about it you can see the retouch for me skin tune i've not gotten this retouch for me skin tune but you can try the demo you can see the retouch for me white teeth retouch for me mattifier retouch for me frequency separation i love frequency separation the retouch for me color match there are many other retouch for me plugins that you can get through the retouch for me website and some of the plugins are free and some are paid why you can try the demo for some of them and we are done with this tutorial thank you for watching if this video was very helpful to you subscribe for more videos turn on notifications so youtube will notify you when i upload a new video and leave a like to help the channel out